I'm Amanda and welcome to this craft tutorial. In today's video, I will be showing you how to make a Finn the Human pillow. I am a huge Adventure Time fan and I have been wanting to do a tutorial based around Adventure Time stuff for ages and so I've finally done it with this. If you are a creative keen bean just like myself and are wanting to make this pattern, there's a link down in the description box below to my blog where you will find the pattern. I would have to say that this pattern is more for the intermediate type of crafter or sewer. If that's not you, make this with someone who knows what they're doing and you'll have lots of fun making it together. So let's get started! Yay! To begin, print out the pattern and read the instructions. Then, with paper scissors, cut out each of the template pieces around the outer lines. Pin each of the templates to the correct coloured felt as stated on them. If the template piece says place on the fold, simply fold the piece of felt in half, place the edge of the template with the arrows along the fold and then pin in place. Do the same with the other templates that say the same thing. For Finn's teeth, trace around the template piece with a sharpie pen three times. Next, carefully cut around each shape using fabric scissors. Take the pins out and place the felt pieces to one side. Starting with the front, take Finn's hat, his face, his mouth, tongue, teeth and the button for his eyes and place them all on top of each other. Lay down his t-shirt piece as well. To construct Finn's face, remove the buttons and place them to one side. Using PVA glue, brush on glue to the back of his tongue and all of his teeth. Flip his mouth over and apply a generous amount of glue to the back. Using a hand, needle and matching thread, stitch both of the buttons in place. Finish the stitches with a nice tight knot at the back. Once Finn's face is completed, glue on the blue strip that will be Finn's shirt along the bottom of the white hat piece. Next, take Finn's face and apply a good amount of glue to the back. Place this piece on top of the white hat piece, ensuring that it is centered. Step five is optional. If you feel confident sewing on a sewing machine, then by all means, top stitch around each of the pieces on Finn's face. If you don't feel confident doing this, then that's cool, just leave them glued down and it will be fine. If you top stitch around these pieces, it just means that you'll have a nicer finish and it will last a bit longer. Next, let's make the other side of Finn. Take the other hat piece, the green backpack piece, the green strip and the green button. Just like before, take each piece and glue it down using PVA glue and a brush. Start with the green strip on top of the green backpack and then the green button on top. Brush on glue all around the edges of the backpack piece and then put it onto Finn's hat. Like before, step 7 is optional. If you feel confident doing this then that's awesome. Don't forget to snip the threads at the end. Bringing it all together, place the two hat pieces together with the face and backpack sides facing each other. Next, mark a 10cm gap along one of the shorter edges of the pillow, then proceed to place pins along each of the edges. At the sewing machine, make a small back stitch at the beginning of the 10cm gap. Slowly sew along each of the edges, ensuring that the side of the machined foot is aligned with the white felt. Take the pins out as you go. As you approach the curve of Finn's ear, slowly turn the piece, keeping the side of the machined foot aligned with the edge of the felt. 
take the pins out as you go. Once you've come to the other side of the 10cm gap, make a small back stitch and remove the pillow from the sewing machine. Carefully trim off any excess felt along each of the sides and clip the corners. Make little snips in the seam allowance at the curved areas at the top of Finn's hat. This step will help the curves sit flat when you pull the pillow out the right way. Next, slowly pull the pillow inside out through the 10cm gap. Use a chopstick or pointing tool to open out the corners and curved seams. Once Finn is pulled out the right way, generously stuff him with polyester toy stuffing until he is your desired softness. And lastly, to close the 10cm gap, fold and bring together the seam allowances and pin them together. Take a hand sewing needle and matching thread and slip stitch the 10cm gap closed. Remove the pins as you go. To finish the stitch, make a loop and thread the needle through creating a knot. Plunge the needle back into the pillow and come back out and then snip the thread off. Your fin pillow is now finished. So there it is, that is how you make this delightful Finn the Human pillow. If you are one of those people who are going to give this pillow a go, take a photo of it and show me all of the links to where you can contact me are down below. I would absolutely love to see how you go. This is the first pattern I have ever made and published and so I would like to know how it all sort of works out and if I'm any good at it I suppose. So thank you so much for joining us on this tutorial. If you liked it and enjoyed it and are going to give it a go, give me a thumbs up. That would be really, really awesome and very encouraging. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because in the next few weeks I will be posting a Jake pillow tutorial which I am very, very excited about. So stick around and you will see that if you are subscribed. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you another time very very soon. Bye! Say bye Finn!